Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. It's Monday night, which means that it is our Monday night Q&A, um, and I'm happy to have you guys join me. So I just realized I popped in live on the wrong screen, too. Uh, now, our plan for tonight is uh, talking about how to really maximize Southern Savers and the features of Southern Savers, which is really what um, you guys asked for. So I had two different people send me messages that they would love that topic just to make sure that they're using all the features and that they kind of fully understand all of the things that we've built into Southern Savers. And I'm fine with that. Kind of feel like an expert on that one. So I'm um, always glad to take that topic. And hopefully it will help too because I'm thinking it would be a great way for us to kind of cover some of the basics because the site is built to help you, especially if you understand the concepts of buying when they're on sale, buying enough when they're on sale, all of that. So that is what we're going to try to hit as we go through tonight. Now, if you're new, if this is the first time that you're joining in, um, if you have any questions, you leave them in the comments and I will jump back and catch them. My husband is also in the comments. So between the two of us, hopefully we will see your question and be able to answer. Just bear with me because sometimes I get onto what I'm trying to say and it's easier to jump back to questions um, in little chunks. So, you know, be a little patient if it takes me a minute or two. And a lot of times folks get to questions and or answering them in the comments faster than I can answer them, which is awesome. So if I don't get to it right away, someone else probably will, uh, which I love. So we're going to jump um, back and forth, and I'm trying now to pull up so that I can make sure I even see everybody's comments, um, make sure I've got the right page up. So hello to everyone that's chiming in. Uh, it's always fun to have everyone uh, join in every Monday, kind of uh, feel like a family after a while for the folks that join most Monday nights. So um, as we dive in, I know for some of you, you might have been using the site for a really long time. So tonight may feel like old news, but there's probably... Some features there or some tricks that you have not learned. So that is my goal to try to pull out some of those too. Maybe you'll learn something new about how to use things. Um, so that is the route that we want to go and we're going to just dive right in. So if you're brand new, um, some basics before we go any further so that we are all on the same page. If you're brand new and you are using Southern Savers, I want you to start here the Learn to Coupon page. So the Learn to Coupon page was strictly built to help you understand the system that we're using behind how to save on your groceries. You know, if you're going and you're standing in front of your pantry and you're making a list of what you're out of, you're really doing everything wrong. Uh, you're not going to save any money making a list of what I'm out of and then trying to follow that list in the grocery store. Uh, you are a need-based shopper. And our goal on Southern Savers is to truly be a sale-based shopper. So the Learn to Coupon page is hands down where I want you to go if you're brand new because it's going to walk you through the concept of a sale cycle that we see that it's on sale today. It's going to be on sale now and then not back on sale for another six weeks, meaning that if it shows up and it's on one of the lists on Southern Savers, this is the week to buy it. So that's the concept that we're trying to use. When I give you the Publix list or you know, whatever grocery store it is that you're using, trying to use that it's on sale today and I need to get enough of it mentality, that's the way I want you to shop. So one other thing that's here that a lot of people ask me about is this link. So we're on the Learn to Coupon page, but the buy price list is a key email question that I get all the time. This is a list of what is a good price and um, you know what we're aiming for on certain things. Those prices are after the sale and after the coupon, just so you kind of know what you're going for as well. Let me try to make this bigger, um, but just so you can see that. So it's right there on the Learn to Coupon page, not hard to find at all, um, but this page is going to help you, I promise, if you're new, to really jump in and make sure that you're fully understanding. I'm not going to walk through all of it but I do want to make sure that brand new people are starting here for sure. Um, now the other way that the other thing that's here is organization. A lot of folks ask me how I organize my coupons and I use the accordion system. So I'm going to explain this further when we get into the shopping list and some features of the shopping list, but just keep this in the back of your mind. That is not necessarily what mine looks like, um, but it's, I use kind of a hanging file folder system, but basically we're trying to keep our inserts whole. So I'm not cutting all the coupons that came in the insert. Um, I'm going to just deal with them when they show up on the list. So this is where we're starting. 
Um, just so everyone knows that that's there. And it, again, is right here at the top of the site, the Learn to Coupon page. If you're on the mobile site or you're trying to share this from the mobile site, we have built in a More button, and you will be able to find that under the More button on the mobile site. So from there, if you are, again, new to the site, the next thing I want you to do is actually up here, this top bar uh, for you is going to say, Log in, create an account. And this makes people panic. Guys, the only reason that we have this, and I'm going to go to my profile page. You can all do this. Your name's in the corner. The reason that we have a login is so that you can tailor the site to you. You can make the site know your newspaper, which is going to be key when we go to cut our coupons, and I can make it know what stores I shop at, and that is going to be a huge help when we're looking at the item search. So right here, this is where I can set what newspapers I get. And guys, this is one that you may not know about. So if you have been using Southern Savers for a while, I have recently added the Sunday coupon inserts. So all my folks that get Sunday coupon inserts just like I do, which means they come in the mail, if you select that, they are gonna match up perfectly with what's in your mailbox today. Um, so you can click the Sunday coupon inserts. I am still getting a random paper on Sundays on my driveway. Kind of started coming back about a month ago. Don't really know why. So I have two selected, the state and Sunday coupon inserts. But that's a fun one. Um, so hopefully, you know, I've already thrown something at you for folks that have used the site for a while. I just added that one a couple weeks ago. Um, and I am the volunteer entering this one. But all these other cities, guys, are done by volunteers who are super awesome and they send us the variations every week. Because if you're new, um, you may not realize this, but every city gets different coupons in their inserts. Um, so this way, when you go to make a shopping list, the insert actually is gonna match in perfectly with what you got in your newspaper. So I'll, we'll get there. But that's the first thing you can do. So when you log into the site, you're able to um, make that selection of what newspapers you get and what stores. I have all 36 selected. You don't need 36 stores selected. Uh, you don't shop all of them. So you can come in uh, and just select the stores that you have. This is not gonna tailor the home page to you, but it is gonna tailor the results of the item search for you. So if I come in and I say, you know what? I only shop by low CVS. I'm willing to go to Kroger, but I don't go there very often. Publix, these are my main stores. Um, Target. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to hit update profile. Now, when I search the item search, um, and I'll show that to you here in a second. So if I really want to know who has peanut butter on sale right now, and I search the item search, it is just, see that? It's just selecting the five stores that I'd already picked. I could change it from here, but it's pre-selected. So it's just going to save you that step. You're not going to have to go in and select um, what stores you have. So let me, again, try to make this bigger, but um, just so you guys can see, that is the item search. But I've tailored the item search using my profile. So that's really what we're talking about here is making sure that you're logging into the site um, so that you can fully maximize that item search all the way. Um, now, while we're here, just so I don't come back to it, I get a lot of folks Every Q&A, someone asks me, hey, Jenny, where is this on sale today? This is all I'm using, guys. During the q and I'm pulling up the item search and typing it in. So if you want to know, you know, who has the best deal on Tide right now, I can hit search, and I'm going to see, again, right, I, I've only selected those five stores, but I'm going to see who right now has Tide on sale, and boom, I can make that decision as to where I want to go. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a pretty thorough list of catching those deals along with all the available coupons that are out. Now, another thing that you can use from the item search page before I move on is um, kind of the biggest question I get again from pe people who are new. Um, you know, how do I know when something that I want is going to be on sale or what a good price on that item is? So if you're in that boat, you just really love something and you want to know when is it going to be back on sale, um, a fun example for me is a little old lady in the store stopping me and asking, she didn't know who I was, but just asking, um, do you think Talenti yogurt, frozen yogurt is going to be on sale anytime soon? And I could easily come in here. I can put a date in the past. So we're going to go back to January 1st. 
I can search for Talenti yogurt. I was in Publix at the time, so really we could search Talenti just at Publix. Um, but I would be able to see when it was last on sale. So I can already see here it's popping in in three Publix flyers and a Publix weekly ad. So that was the really the most recent sale. It was buy one, get one this past week. Well, if I know that it was buy one, get one this past week and I missed it, then I've got a number of weeks until it's back on sale. Um, you know, you can use this in, in those ways. So I can see when the next sale is going to be based on when the last sale was, but I can also see what the best price is for that item. So already just looking at this, it's $249. Just across all of these is when it hits buy one, get one, that's the price that I want to grab it at. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, well, Kroger beat it here with a Catalina deal on top of a click list deal, but uh, you know, you get the idea. You can see where that best price is across the board, what we're looking for, and when the last sale was. So what I did here, again, just to repeat, is put in a date from the past. Now, if you want to go crazy and you want to put in a date way, way back, it didn't get to do anything. Just so you know, it kills our servers. So we cap you at three months. Sorry, guys. You can keep on going if you want. It is not going to go any further. Um, than three months because yeah, our servers can't handle it. So um, don't try to go back. I had someone, I had, uh, it was a newspaper guy uh, email me and say, I know you have this data. I want to see what inflation has done in the last two years. Like, um, no, we have purged that data. I do not have a server large enough to hold on to every shopping list for the last two years. Um, but it would be great, I guess, if I had. Maybe I could have charged him something. I have no clue if he would have paid for it, but he was pretty desperate. So that is how to use the item search and again, how to tailor uh, the item search to you using the profile screen. Um, let me pop back and let's look at questions because I've seen some come through uh, and I, I don't want you to feel like I'm ignoring you. It's just easier to kind of stay in the moment um, and make sure that we uh, are getting that topic covered before we jump on to other ones. Um, so Let's see. Uh, Diana asks, how can we tell when insert coupons are all expired? I think I hold on to them too long. Great question, Diana. So here's my tip for you. Um, this is, I want you to use the um, database on Southern Saver. So it's up here. We're going to click on the button at the very top. And again, I'm trying to stay as zoomed in as I can for you guys. I know if you're on mobile that this is really small. But if you use the coupon database on the site, you want to put in the name so SS, and then the date of what you're chunking or what you're considering chunking. Um, and sorry, I know you guys can see the craziness. I'll hide YouTube so you don't see me um, triple deep there. Um, there. There we go, a little bit better. So I want to put in the SS and then I want the date. So one that I just took out was 0128. So I'm putting in 428 right behind it. Then I want to kind of stick, um, there we go, make it really go away. I can't handle the, the things moving behind it. Um, now I can see everything in the SS128 that is still good. So the database is not going to show you what has expired. It's only going to show you what is still good once you put in that date. So this is the week that just came out of my hanging file folders as I put this week in. So we're going to talk about that. Um, but hopefully that helps Diana. You can see all the ones that expire tonight. There's a number that expire tonight. Um, but then I can see at the end of that, there's only three that are still good from the SS128. So for me, and maybe this helps with organization, I have 12 hanging file folders, or I would encourage you to get a 12 pocket um, accordion file so that I get the inserts. I write the date really huge on the front of these inserts. And then I put them all in the same pocket together. So everything that came out this past Sunday is in the pocket together. Everything from last Sunday is in the pocket behind that. You get the idea. And when the pockets are full, so I've been doing this for 12 weeks because I only have 12 folders. I'm going to come in. I'm going to find the oldest one that's in there, and I'm going to pull it out. And then I type into the database just like I showed you and say, oh, there's only three coupons that are still good. I don't really care about Downy Wrinkle Releaser. I'm really not going to buy it. No offense to Downy, um, though I probably should because I don't iron. It, it is a fault, um, but I don't iron. Uh, but I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, get rid of the inserts. A little plug here. You can 
send your inserts overseas. So inserts that we don't use, troops on deployed bases can use your inserts up to six months past their expiration dates. It's a sweet way to kind of pay it forward. Um, so don't chunk them, but you can drop them off. A lot of libraries do collections, VFW posts do collections. There's even websites, just Google coupons for the troops, and you'll find websites where you can mail them yourself, but little plug. So that is what I do. These get cleaned out. Let's go ahead. Let's see what's still good in there. If I want any of those, I go ahead and cut. But rarely is anything that is left something that I want. Most of the really good coupons that we all want long expired. Um, so we're, that hopefully will help you, Diana. So you're going to do that SS and then the date. And you want to remember a two-digit month. That throws a lot of people off in a two-digit day. So 0128, as I did in the example, and I'll pull it back up just so you can see it there too. So that SS0128, um, and, or if it was a one digit, or a, you know, we're on the fourth or the fifth, then it would be 0104 uh, because that's how we put them in the database. Um, so that is a big tip and a, a great question for sure. Um, let me get to the next one. So, um, Okay, so Tammy says, I've organized my coupons by not clipping them until I need them in ex expandable folders for printables uh, and have newly discovered problem. If I cut one and I get to the store and they're out of the item, what do I do with my stray coupon? That's a great question. So I'm looking around. I think I left my bag in the other room. But Tammy, what I do, you're going to need something. So if I have the big file folders, I have to have something little along with accordion system for the coupons that I cut early um, or I printed early, uh, you know, all of those reasons why we end up with loose coupons. The pile in your purse just doesn't work. So uh, you can use a little tiny coupon folder for those. There's not going to be a lot in there because you're really keeping most of them whole and you're only cutting them when they show up on your list. Um, but you're going to need a little tiny coupon folder. I do use a larger bag system, but only because I had it made. And so it was one of those where this is here and it's easy to grab. But one little coupon folder is really enough. And then organize that by categories. So, uh, you know, baking, condiments, canned and packaged, that kind of thing, based on how many sections you have. So think uh, large sections of the store if you're just going with one little coupon folder. But you're not going to have a lot in there. So don't panic if you feel like they're too large of the uh, too much of the store that you're covering in one little pocket. You're not going to have that many that you're going through. Um, so Paige says, I went to get the chili cow ice cream today, and when I was at the store, I bought it, had both the ice cream and the bar rebates available. When I got home, the ice cream one was gone. Um, so yes, this happens on rebates that are like this. Oh, here we go. I'll show you my uh, my bag in just a second. Uh, I, I just had uh, my sweet husband deliver it <laughs> to the dining room. Um, so with high-value rebates like this page that are making for crazy good deals, which is this one. It, it's 25 cents at Publix. They go quickly uh, and they do change. So already it's changed across the week because when I went shopping last Wednesday, the limit was five. Now the limit is two. Uh, and then as you're saying, one is gone and it was there this morning and now it's gone. Um, so this can happen. It is one of the big reasons with mobile offers that I always recommend that you actually submit them in the car. Don't wait till the next day for sure. And I know for you, this was the same day that they went away. Um, but the other one, and, and this is one that's hard, is don't necessarily buy something specifically for the rebate. And I know in this case you were. It was a $2.50 rebate. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time in the sense that every single one you go to submit that this is going to happen. But when it lines up with a buy one, get one deal, it makes something 25 cents or free. You've got to kind of expect that it's going to go quickly. And then waiting until Monday into the ad is the other one that hurts you because you're already, I mean, it's been on sale for so long already. It's been a super good price. Uh, and then you're kind of jumping in. It is going to go away. Uh, and we've seen some that went away the same day that they came out. Uh, I remember some was almost a year ago probably, but they put out $4.50 and $5 off Dove deodorant, degree deodorant, and Dove men deodorant spray coupons when they kind of launched those products. They were only good at Walmart, but they made them completely free. And those coupons lasted about six hours on Ibotta. So the higher the value and the more drive that people have to grab it because it makes it free or makes it super cheap, the faster they go away. Um, so let's see. 
Um, oh, Mama made any updates on the Live Shopper app? I've not had any updates from them recently. I do know, you know, um, since they're not watching, um, they are working on Marathon gas stations coming live. Publix is coming live. Um, what were some others? Um, Longhorn Steakhouse is coming live. Um, Carabas. So they do have some big brands. Uh, that are in the pipeline. I'm just not sure when that launch is for them because that was just, they were offering to do lots of giveaways for us. And I was like, sure, you can do giveaways for our readers. It, it is a fun app and hopefully we'll see a lot more things come in there um, in the very near future. Um, oh, gotcha. So Yinka asked, what does the SS stand for? So SS um, stands for smart source on your insert. So the date, the names are right there at the top, not hard to find. Um, and then now this throws a kink for some of you because you have, maybe you haven't looked in your inserts for a while, but we don't have red plum anymore. This is our other big one. We have retail me not every day. So you'll see RMN and that is a new change just within the last month. Um, but you'll have your SS and your RMN. So those of us who've been couponing or we have 12 weeks worth, if you're putting into the database what you're pulling out, it might be in there as an RP, and you need to search for it as an RP, but just look at what you're pulling out and look at the name of it, and that's what you're going to put in. And then Yinka, the other abbreviation is a PG, so Procter & Gamble, and it's just the names of those inserts, um, but hopefully that will help. If I just put in uh, to that database, you know, just to pop back and show you the database again, but if I just did that 0128 and I didn't do the SS, um, I, that's still going to work normally. So that popped in this red plum right here that is also from that week. And you're probably pulling them both out at the same time. You have them in the same folder. So if you want to ignore it, you're, you're going to be okay. The only time that it's going to throw a quirk at you is if there was an expiration date that was similar to the date that that insert came out. It may pop in some expiration dates that didn't correspond to the, to the Sunday paper um, or something similar. But usually just the date will get you what you're wanting as well. Uh, and again, this is the one I just took out. So I hold on to about 12 weeks worth or only have 12 folders so that I, I'm typically always getting rid of one and putting one in. And as you guys can see, just this week, even with the red plum, the only one in the red plum expired today too. They really do follow a chunk of 12 weeks and then they're usually all going to disappear and go away. So I'm going to tell you one other, one other tip while we're here. Um, and I actually have to think about what the date is, but if you're ever curious, so we post the, um, previews on Sunday of what is coming in the Sunday paper. Um, uh, or sorry, we post that on Wednesdays, but you can actually look early, guys. So if you don't want to wait for the preview, it's usually already in the database. And this is where my mom's going to send me a text message and say, no, I'm behind schedule. Um, but you can come in and you can actually type in, um, let's do RMN05, um, I think it's the 6th. Yeah, 0506. Look, there's all the inserts of what's coming this coming Sunday. So we don't even post this to the site until Wednesday, but it's really already in the database and it goes in the database. Usually my mom aims for Monday morning. So that is one of her sweet tasks that she helps me out with. Um, but you can get a feel for everything that's coming in that insert early if you want to. So the database can be a pretty big help for you. Um, but while we're here too, I've shown you, you know, how to tell what's expired, but really what this is, if you're looking for a coupon, that you uh, want or a brand or even just a product. I don't care what the brand is, you know, just give me all your peanut butter coupons. That is where this is gonna come in handy. So if I really need Huggies diapers, then I can come in here. I'm gonna find every coupon available for Huggies diapers that is currently good. So that is really what the database is for, but it has other perks like being able to see the preview almost a week ahead because we usually get them in on Mondays. Um, even though we don't share them with you till Wednesday or, um, you know, getting a feel for what's expired from your insert. So there's a lot of things that you can use the database for. The database is also part of the Southern Savers mobile app. So, um, you know, just to kind of go there for a second, because we can, um, with the mobile app, um, if you're using the mobile app, the database is in the dead center right at the top. So you can load the database, and be able to do all of the searches that you wanted to in the store. Um, and um, with, the, with the mobile, I'm sorry, with the database on the mobile app, 
um, you'll be able to get the same results that you would have too. Now, obviously, I, you know, if I don't have the coupons with me in the store, it doesn't necessarily help, um, but I'm at least able to see whether or not there is a coupon. So if I'm looking for a clearance deal or I'm looking at a clearance deal and I want to see is there even a way to save on this clearance deal, this is going to do it for you. So you've got all of those things right there um, to be able to look at. Now, one thing that is in the mobile app, and this throws people off, is the barcode scanner, and it is not tied to groceries. So I get a lot of folks that try to use that barcode scanner that is down in the bottom there to scan for grocery items. Don't do that. That's not how it's meant. Um, again, I'm looking to see if I've got anything in here. And I don't think I do. Um, but the barcode scanner is meant to scan other products uh, to help you price match in the store. So if I scan the barcode of um, a, uh, let's see, um, if I scan the barcode of a DVD or a book or anything else in the store, it's going to show me who has that item. Oh, oh, here we go. Now I'm getting some fun things delivered. So we can see who has this book, hopefully. Uh, hopefully it'll return something on sale online right now. So we can scan the barcode and um, we're able to see, again, who has the best price against all those stores. So if I'm walking through Target, let's say, uh, and they have this book for $9.99, which hopefully they don't because that is above the MSRP, but let's just say, um, then I could take this up to customer service and say, hey, Amazon has it for $6.99, and I'm going to be able to price match that right now in the store. So you can do this with books. You can do this with movies, really anything in the store. Target, Best Buy, Staples. There's a number of stores that will price match online retailers. So that is what the barcode scanner in the mobile app is going to help you with, um, is scanning the barcode and seeing who has the best deal. Um, other things that are in the app that we've already talked about is you've got the item search that you can use too, um, right there on the bottom. And folks that are not on iOS, a lot of this is in um, a, the top corner pop out, but just so you can kind of see all those things are in there as well. So um, not trying to make the features of the main site as easy to use on the mobile site, but I will confess there are times when just making your shopping list on a desktop is a lot easier, guys, um, than making it on the mobile site. You're working kind of tiny. Um, so to jump back to questions again, um, Shanna says, um, even though I do have the hanging file folder system, my go-to system is a six cloth zippered pencil cases on a metal ring. Um, it's smaller than an album and handy and I don't drop them as often. So yeah, I mean, you can really make any tailored view of how to organize your coupons that you want to. Um, but going with a system where we don't cut until they show up on the shopping list is going to be a lot less stressful and a lot less time required. So let's talk about um, the shopping list in general uh, really quick too. Wow, I'm really behind on questions, guys. I'm trying to catch back up. Um, best time to purchase baby gear like a mom ring, swing, or stroller. Um, so Amanda, the spring it really is one of the best times to grab. If you're wanting brand new I would be waiting um, for the Target Baby Care coupons. I know there's one right now, but I don't think it covers furniture this time. It's just on formula, food, diapers, wipes, etc. But Target will run a gift card on baby furniture. And it's usually like a $50 gift card when you buy any $200 purchase. So it's a pretty sweet savings because it's like 25% right there. So watching for that one. Um, the other thing that I would watch for, uh, and you know, you're looking for baby showers, so you probably are looking for new. But what I was going to say, the other thing that I would watch for is consignment sales. Um, we do not see any until the fall now. Most of the consignment sales are in March and in August. Um, but for anyone that's expecting, I would always say don't go new. Just go consignment because you can get some crazy good prices on things that are almost new. So many parents that grab things and then never use them. Um, but you're going to get a really good price on them. Now, if you're looking to uh, save on those items, though, for showers, you're probably in that boat right now, but we're right on the cusp of it. Spring is always the best for large ticket items like that um, or going with discounts that will pop in on Amazon or Target. If they're specific on a brand, though, you might just want to, you know, um, give them money towards it. And, you know, a lot of folks don't like this idea, but say, hey, here's money towards your stroller because that mom um, 
when you create an Amazon registry and a Target registry, the things that didn't get purchased off of your registry at the end, you get a coupon, usually 20% off to complete your registry. So they can get a better deal than you can using those coupons. Um, so that is really where I would um, you know, encourage you to possibly go is giving them the money or gift cards towards the stroller and saying, you know, this is the stroller, but you can use your registry completion coupon to get an even better deal and kind of stretch this money even further. I don't know if you want to go that route, but I'd be okay with it if you give them to me that way. Um, so Carrie says, do I know when the wireless brother printer will be back on sale? What's a good price to look for again? Um, so Carrie, it, I looked yesterday, I had folks ask when I went live on the new coupons, uh, and there was a deal on a all-in-one, which is a scanner, copier, uh, and printer. It was 109 on Amazon, regularly 199 That's a That's a great price if you want all of those features. If you don't want all those features, we usually see the wireless printer on sale for around 89 um, so if you can hold out, we will see it. It is not on sale this week. I already went digging in all the stores to try to find a sale. So no current sales on it, but we will. And we usually see it about once a month around that price. So 89 to 99 max, never pay more than 99 period. Cause that's really full price. Um, but 89, we'll see it on sale for it. And we will see lower back to school time, but I don't know if you want to hold out that long because that's going all the way into July. Um, our ink, Jessica, we get from Amazon, off-brand, never by the name brand, uh, refills, and we buy toner because we're using that Brother laser printer. We can usually get, uh, what I think we even posted a deal last week, it was two toner cartridges for $3.99 a piece. So it's super crazy cheap, and that will print um, probably around a 1,000 sheets a piece. So it's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, all the way around. That is why I recommend that printer though, because it is so cheap to do the toner cartridge uh, refills. Um, so Vicki, great question. When I put my Kroger digital coupons on my card through the app, um, when do they go away and how do I remember the ones that I use? Um, so what I would say with digital coupons, Vicki, it, it can be hard to remember what have I used, what haven't I used. Um, what I would say is go ahead and add them to your shopping list. Digital coupons usually, like the really good digital coupons, are usually only good for a couple weeks, those five-time use digital coupons. So you're probably going to have loaded them to your Kroger shopping list um, once in that time period. You're not going to struggle too much with what you've used and what you haven't used. It's the ones that are out for a month that actually mirror the printable coupons that can be the most confusing. Oh, I've already used that or whatnot. But typically, you're going to go in and you're going to grab these items when they're on sale, and they're not going to be back on sale for about six more weeks after that coupon's gone. So it's not going to be a big confusing moment to remember what I have and haven't used because you already bought it, and you probably already bought it to the max of the coupons that you had. That's going back to kind of the basics of how we're going to do this. So we see that it's on sale and we buy enough of it when it's on sale to last us six weeks to where I'm not really going to pop back in and need that digital coupon again. I did already use it, but it's really not back on sale again. Um, so it's not really the answer that you want. Um, there isn't a, an amazing way to know what you have or haven't used, um, especially with digital. It's more just kind of remembering I've already got four of that in there because I bought it last week. I don't need to add it to my shopping list again this week. So let's look at the shopping list for a little bit um, and we'll come back to questions too. Um, we've got a lot of them today. You guys are going to keep me hopping. I can tell already. Um, so back to my screen share um, and let's talk the shopping list. So y'all were already mentioning Kroger. Oh, um, so if I go and up here from grocery stores, I select Kroger a uh, little inside tip here. It does not matter that you come out here and select weekly ad. It's going to take you to the same place. But so many people love that button that I can't get rid of it. Um, so just click on Kroger or weekly ad, whatever makes you happy. Uh, and the Kroger ad is going to load. And so what you're going to see is all of the current deals at Kroger. Now, later on tonight, I will load the new Kroger ad. So there'll actually be three tabs here. But right now, this is the current ad, and these are the unadvertised deals. And you can go back and forth between them. They're just all on the same page together. Um, if you've not used the shopping list, you can jump down to various sections if you want by clicking those blue headers, and you can return back to the top with the blue headers at the top of each section. 
Um, so I can come and I can sit here and select what I want. Now, this is where, again, the key of the, the concept of what we're trying to do. If an item is on this list, it is a great price today. So I do not type the entire Kroger ad or the entire Publix ad. I only type the items that are 40% off or more. That is our goal. Now, Kroger Mega Events can be a little unique because Mega Events, they put so many items on sale and most people want to see what all those items are. So Mega Events can have a lot of things listed. Um, but you, if you, it's something that you will use, you want to go ahead and be adding this to your shopping list. So clicking the boxes, adding whatever it is that you think you will use to your shopping list. We will gladly use 49 cent slider bags. Um, and then just keep on going. Everything that I think I would want, and I'm not really paying attention, um, so hopefully I won't add anything embarrassing to my shopping list, but I'm not going to Kroger this week. It's a pretty rare moment for me to head in. Um, but you get the idea. So I'm going to kind of keep on going across the board. I'm really just selecting items that you can see. Occasionally you're going to come across this acorn. And I've had a lot of folks who've used the site and they try to tell people those are the items you're supposed to buy. Guys, y'all would starve if you lived on an acorn only diet. My goal with the acorn is just to highlight deals that are super, super good so that you don't miss them in a really long list of deals. Um, but everything that is on the list is a good deal today. Your goal, if you will use it, this is the week to grab it. So if it's something that we will use, I'll gladly use 49 cent cereal. Um, you know, then I'm going to add it to the shopping list and I'm kind of going quick here. We will definitely use free toothpaste. Uh, you get the idea. Um, so we're going to add all these things as we go. And then I'm actually going to speed up and go to the top and then back to the bottom here. Um, so at the very bottom, this is where I can select to save to a list. You can name it or not name it, but I'm going to name it um, Kroger Live because <laughs> it's going to stay in my save list um, until I delete it. And this way I'll know why. So I told it to create a list. And now here is the shopping list that we just made. With the shopping list, um, all the coupons that you see, so this one from the SS408, if it's showing up, it was in my insert. So this is where the list becomes tailored to your city. Uh, and if you're curious if it's doing that, um, I, it, you can check right here. So for me, it's checked and it's saying only locally available, meaning that I have a local paper set under my profile and it's hiding anything that wasn't in my paper, which is pretty sweet. Um, so now my shopping list is going to send me to inserts only for the things that I do have. If I don't have any of these or I don't want to find, I don't have that tear pad, I can click and I can take them off if I really want to. I don't want to deal with the one that's limit reached. So I can kind of clean up a little bit if I wanted to do that as well. And then the other thing that the shopping list has is the quick cutting guide. Um, so the quick cutting guide I made really to help my kids because I make my shopping list, but then I hand it over to my kids and I let them do the cutting. And this is taking all of those insert coupons from up here and it's grouping them by date because that's how we organize our coupons so that you can go to the hanging file folder for 325 and cut just the coupons that were in that insert and then move on to the next one. So the goal here is that this is going to speed you up a ton. Um, this blue button, if you have any coupons.com coupons, you can click it. I don't know if we even do, but it's going to have pre-clipped any of those that were in that list. And I don't don't think we did um, because we just kind of went through quickly and just clipped a couple things. But um, hopefully that will help you too, bringing all of those up together by clicking that blue coupon. So if you don't want to print this, little inside tip, uh, before you go to print, you can click to hide it. And I don't have to update or do anything. It just goes away. So I have a lot of, I know that you guys are paper misers. I have, I have learned that through the years. But I can hide it. And now when I print it, it doesn't print. Um, so if that part really, really bugs you, you can make it go away. But that part really, really makes me happy. So um, other things that you can do that you may not know about. Let's say that I want to add something to my shopping list um, and I can I want to add a coupon for it. So um, I want to get Country Time Lemonade. Uh, I hear that it's a great deal. It wasn't on the shopping list or I just need it. I can come in and then I can actually coupon it as well. So we just added this about a month ago. And now I can add that coupon and then say done. And it's there. I've not only added the product, but I've also added the coupon. So for those of you who maybe live in an area for a store that I don't cover, 
you can actually do that exact same thing. So you can come in and make your own list from the shopping list side. We're actually working on a way for you to make your own list um, on the front end side before you get to a shopping list. So it'll look kind of just like the lists that are on Southern Savers, but we have not rolled that out yet. Um, so hopefully that helps you see the shopping list as a, as a whole. Um, there are other things that you can hide on here too, because I know that you guys really like to condense things. So if math bug bugs you, you can hide math. If you don't even get the inserts, you can hide inserts, um, but you can kind of go to town there, hiding all sorts of things. And your save lists, if you want to make them and then come back to them, are at the top. So here's every list that I've made. I need to kind of do some cleaning out as well, but I can come in here. Um, you can see lots of testing lists that I make uh, and play around with, but uh, you can always come back to your save lists from the top. And your bar doesn't look quite the same. I've got some back-end pages that you don't have, but you have all of these right here along the top of, of the bar when you're signed in. So um, the item search, the database, save lists, savings tracker, where you can enter your receipts and track how much you've been saving. Um, you can do all of that from the top bar. So um, hopefully that helps as well. Okay, let me jump back to questions for a little bit. Um, Brady says, I took four months off from CVS because I had a baby. Congratulations. Um, and now I've been back every single week for two months solid, and I'm still only getting CVS coupons every other week. Uh, no clue what's going on there, Brady, but you could call corporate and just tell them, like, hey, I am not getting CVS coupons at all, or very rarely is there a way to see what's going on with my card and see what they could possibly do. Make sure that you are signed up for the beauty club still because that does trigger a number of store coupons that other non-beauty club members don't get. Um, but so much of it's based on what you've been purchasing. So hopefully as you get back into it, more and more of those store coupons are going to load for you. Um, but it never hurts to call and just see what corporate can say or possibly do. Um, make sure you're also signed up for their emails because I have been getting a lot of good store coupons just sent straight to my email and then you load them from the email. I'm probably getting two or three a week lately. It used to only be on Thursdays, but it's a lot more regularly. So make sure that you are getting those two. That might help. Um, let's see. I printed a CVS coupon for the first time today. It did not have the large barcode at the bottom. Uh, is this correct or was my printer just acting up? So Jessica, I'm not, when you say a CVS coupon, I'm guessing it was from the CVS site. Um, you're actually making me want to go and like look at the database and try to figure out what that might be. Um, but with CVS coupons, most of them we don't print. Most of them we load to our card. And if a barcode does not print, um, so let's see, uh, we've got that Arm & Hammer detergent or Arm & Hammer toothpaste. Let's see if this one will load for us. Of course not. Um, I'm trying to find one um, just so we're all on the same page. Oh, it would help if I found one that was even recent. Um, so when you're printing them, if it doesn't print a barcode, usually what the best thing to do is to switch web browsers, honestly. So if I'm printing any printable coupon, period, always switching web browsers. Also, just to make sure we're all on the same page with this, like here, I'm on CVS's website. All of these guys, these are just normal coupons.com coupons. Um, so there are no CVS specific coupons right now on this page. Um, and any of these that print, I could really use anywhere. Uh, and these are the same ones that are on Southern Savers and lots of other pages too. So it may not have had a barcode, but it's possibly just a manufacturer's coupon. Um, and I don't, it, not knowing exactly what the coupon was that you grabbed. Um, is RMN coming to states in the north? Deb, it should be everywhere. I haven't heard that it isn't. So retail me not bought Red Plum, like outright bought Red Plum. So you should have these in all your inserts already or all your Sunday papers already. And I know this coming week, there's three retail me nots in the papers. They're going to be, they're going to be tiny because there's still only about 60 coupons across all three of them. Um, but I would look for a lot of them in your paper. Um, is there a certain time of year that appliances or major household items go on sale? Yes. If you can hold out three day weekends, that's the big holdout for anything big ticket like that. So Memorial Day, that's your next big one. That's when you're going to find the best deals by far. And then remember that a lot of those stores price match and they'll honor each other's promotions. So if Home Depot is offering free delivery, you can always get Lowe's to offer home delivery. 
The same with Best Buy and all the other stores. So they all price match each other, but always three day weekends, Paige. Uh, and we, you know, we see a number of those, but Memorial Day is your next one. So if you can hold out for Memorial Day by far, that's your best option. Um, oh, so Jamie says, how do I feel about Ikea? I went for the first time this weekend and their appliances are great prices compared to major brands. Um, you know, I would say, Jamie, on that one, I've never tried an Ikea appliance. Um, I would be willing to if, you know, they wanted to send me one, but I don't need any appliances, so I'm not going to go off and buy one right now. With major appliances, what I would look for is who made them. So Ikea doesn't make their own appliances. They're probably buying someone else's. So open up your appliance and look on the inside door, uh, look on the sticker on the inside, see who makes the inside of that appliance. Um, because there's really, my mother-in-law and I were just talking about this this weekend. There's really only about three major appliance manufacturers left in the United States. So odds are it's made by somebody else. Um, and then we're talking about a major brand and you're probably going to be very happy with that major brand. So if you've kind of found a way to get it on a discount because you've got an Ikea label on the front and not a Maytag label on the front, um, which is really all made by, I think, Frigidaire, um, then you're doing fine. Uh, it's just kind of about what's on the inside, I guess, that I would be more concerned about versus the sticker that's on the outside. And also looking at the warranty that's behind that would be my other big one, too. Um, oh, and my husband is chiming in and saying that Consumer Reports says that Whirlpool makes all IKEA appliances. So, see, it's all about just knowing what's on the inside. So there you go. They're probably great. Um, but I would look at what that warranty is. And as long as it's going to be compatible to a normal Whirlpool warranty, I would go for it if you think it's a crazy good price. Um, good price for a high yield toner cartridges, no more than 10 bucks in my mind. Um, if you're wanting that brother printer high yield cartridge, because I'm not buying the name brand, always the off brand. Um, and Heidi on the savings tracker, I, um, do, I do include tax, but to be fair, tax in my area, there is no tax on food. There is only tax on um, non-food items. So it's really, really low um, and sometimes nothing depending on what county I'm in. One county has a one cent sales tax um, add-on and the other county doesn't even have that. So a uh, little plug to anyone who lives in my area. You got to think about where you shop. Um, but yes, I do consider after tax, it's just not a lot. Um, so that might help for some people who are like, didn't you have to pay tax on that? Nope, uh, probably not, especially if it was food items. Um, let's see. So Shanna says, when I try to save a list so I can see and print, the site just buffers. Um, I'm not quite sure what's up, Shanna, but if you want, um, send me an email and we can try to figure it out and we'll try to troubleshoot what's up. Um, my guess is that there is probably something on your back end or our back end that is in is stuck so we can just see what's happening because for me I don't ever have issues when I make a list um, for sure and the only thing I can think is if you're hitting the print button that sometimes with the print button it does take a minute to kind of call up that print screen depending on what browser you're using but I would encourage you to possibly switch browsers too that's the number one um, like IT thing that I feel like I say a lot to folks. So uh, it kind of goes back to that whole, like, have you turned it on? Uh, if you ever listen to folks who work in the IT department, but switching web browsers can be kind of the key to solving a lot of issues that are out there. And it doesn't even have to be permanently. It's just testing it on another web browser. So this is what it's doing in Firefox. Is it doing the same thing in Chrome? And that can tell you right there, if it's different across web browsers, that it's probably something to do with that browser or probably something to do with your cache, your history that saves. Web browsers save things, trying to make things easier for you, but really they can end up making a pain in the neck for you because they save bad versions. And so they're trying to call this bad version that doesn't exist um, and it gets people uh, in a lot of a lot of issues. The website doesn't work right. Um, so a lot of times it's your browsing history that needs to be cleared and switching a web browser is gonna help you spot that right away. Um, okay. Um, so Katrina says, I order the insights from Sunday coupon inserts, but my Garnier coupons are not there. Are the inserts all the same? So 
Katrina, yes, the inserts are are going to vary just like they would vary in any paper. And the Garnier coupons are not ever in the inserts that come from Sunday coupon inserts. Uh, I do get a local paper as well, and they weren't in my local paper either. Um, so across the board, they're just not ones that we see a ton of. Uh, and I don't know how many um, my mom has entered because she enters all of the regionals. But we can plug it in and see from my side. I um, can tell you really fast what we've gotten so far to see who actually had one and who didn't. Um, so that Garnier Whole Blends that was supposed to be, so far we have it as actually being in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Um, it did just come out. So I only have it entered as volunteers send in their regionals, but we've done a lot of the regionals already. So it's not in a lot of papers. It's going to be hard to find across the board. Um, I'm trying to see even from big cities what we have entered or not. But one city so far is all that we have that those Garniers were in. And hopefully others will have them, but not many people are going to end up with them. Um, let's see. Jana says, is there a way to load coupons.com to a card or app instead of printing? Yes, they're working on load to card. But Janice, really all of those coupons, if you go to the public site or you go to the Kroger site, the coupons that are available to print from coupons.com are really on Publix as loadable coupons there. So you could get lots of them by loading them from the store specific sites instead of loading them from the public or instead of loading them from coupons.com. The other thing that I would encourage you against, and I don't know where you live, but folks that live in an area that double coupons, I would never want to load my paper coupons as a digital coupon because they won't double. Only paper coupons double. So if I'm headed to Harris Teeter or Bilo or Lowe's Foods or Ingalls, there's a number of stores in the Southeast that double coupons. I always want the paper version of that coupon so that I can get the best option, if it, especially if it's the right value to double versus loading it as a digital. So there's you know pros and cons. Digital, at least you're not going to forget it's in the store, but the con being that you could have saved a lot more if you had had that um, as a paper coupon and not as a digital um, so Patty says, you know, the Chattanooga Free Press doesn't get Retail Me Nots. Uh, is there a way that, to get them to give us more coupons? Um, in the past, Red Plum did have a way for you to sign up to get it in the mail. I'm not sure if Retail Me Not is keeping that or not. Um, Patty, but I can go digging um, to see what we can find. Uh, see if we can find the website as to where you would go to get them. Um, let's see. Um, so here we go. That didn't take me very long. Found an old post on Southern Tampers of all places. Um, so if you, I'm going to just stick this in the comments, Patty, and hopefully you'll see it versus finding where your comment is. So if you follow that link that I just stuck in the comments, that will, it's the finder to find the red, it's still under the Red Plum site. Uh, they haven't changed the brand on the website yet for them. Um, but if you head there, then you can also select to get it in your mailbox. Um, or your newspaper, and it's going to tell you which one it is. So hopefully that will help you be able to get it. I can't guarantee that it's going to work, but you can always try. Um, never hurts to try. Um, so Marisol says, I need detergent the best week this week. So the best deal for by far is all Marisol. I don't know what area you're in, but all detergent at Publix is um, definitely the best deal. And this is another one where we can use the ATEM search and just search for the word detergent. Um, so I, in showing you this one too, I only have five stores selected, Marisol, because we were kind of going through that earlier. But you can see just with the word detergent, and yes, we've got some dish detergent in there too, but you'll be able to see all of the best prices across all the brands. Um, and then you just put in the stores that you want. So this is the ATEM search, and I can put this link in too. Um, right into the comments and maybe that will help um, as well. So you can um, go through and search for yourself. Just make sure you select what stores you want um, when it pulls up um, on that item search so that you're searching just the stores in your area that you have, but hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, okay. How do I stack coupons from the newspaper and the store? So Takala, 
the first thing really with stacking coupons, this is where the database is going to come in handy, um, is if I find a store coupon coming to the coupon database and saying, okay, I have, um, let's do it this way. I'm going to search for a Publix coupon just so we can find it. So you've got a um, Publix, uh, let's see, we're getting lots of stuff here. You have a coupon like this guy for Kleenex hand towels. I uh, came in your insert, or I've got a Publix coupon that came in one of those Publix monthly flyers. Then coming here and saying, okay, I have a coupon for Kleenex hand towels. So are there any other coupons? There are not. They're just Publix coupons right now. Um, but you get it, you get the idea. Use the database to help you spot other coupons that can go with it um, all the way across, like this one right here. We have an April Walgreens coupon um, that I could turn around and pair with this 50 cents off three for three boxes or one bundle pack. So it's really 50 cents off one because this Walgreens is for a bundle pack as well. So pairing the two of those together, I'm going to save $1.50 off with the Walgreens store coupon and the printable coupon. So use that database to help you spot manufacturer's coupons to go along with your store or store coupons to go along with your manufacturer, you know, whichever way you have it. Um, but any store is going to let you stack those coupons together uh, and not have any issues. So I'm running out of time. I want to go through a few more things that you can be doing. Um, let's go to the dashboard, actually, um, to spot most of them. So if you've not ever used the dashboard, when you select your stores, it is going to pull in uh, the most recent deals that we've done that have been at those particular stores. So sometimes it's the weekly ad, but sometimes it's actually other deals as well. So folks ask for a way to kind of tailor their homepage. This really could be your own homepage. Um, your save lists are here. Uh, if you're using the savings tracker, it is there. I've fallen behind this year and not been using it, just to confess, but um, I have in years past, and it's definitely a fun way to go. I've just kind of been a little on the busy side this spring. Um, and then item alerts. That's another one that I wanted to hit on. So if there's a brand that you love and you want to know whenever it is on sale, whenever it shows up in a list, you can enter an item alert. Now, um, you know, be kind of vague. Um, don't be super specific or you'll never get an alert. But I want to add tight detergent. Um, I want to add anything as I go. I can do that. If you want to add multiples, put a, put a comma between them and it will do multiples. Um, but you can sit there and get an alert. It's going to send you an email uh, and it's going to group them together. So if I've signed up to follow five stores from my profile, then it's going to send me an alert when the items that I want to be alerted on are on sale in those five stores. So make sure you tailor your profile to the stores that you want to shop at because this item alert is going to pull off of that as well. And so you'll get that email. Um, the item search is there. And then you can also use, this is really using the barcode scanner, but searching by product name using that barcode scanner um, instead of uh, the barcode itself. So if I wanted to search for, you know, we've got an ad right here for a cry cut machine, I could do that or, um, or Cricut. I don't know, however you say that one we could search for that and see um, who had the best deals across the board. So um, that's using your dashboard and making sure that you're grabbing all of the things that are part of the site as well. Um, trying to see if I forgot anything. Um, I think that we hit most of them, though. Um, the uh, Oh, the other one, I guess, uh, would be, and this would be a huge one for all of us, is that we do have the option to share a deal. So if you've never done this, I actually pick someone every week to win a $25 Amazon gift card. You can do this from the app and from the main homepage. So if you have grabbed a deal and you want to, I would love for you to share. The more information that you give me, the better, because then I can actually share it with other people um, versus I got this for a dollar, but you're not telling me how or even what store. I got to have some information, but it's a sweet way for you to be entered to win a gift card. Um, and to help other people out. So when you share it this way, I can pull it and then put it into posts for folks. So um, that is everything that I had on my little list. Let me jump back to questions because I still have a list to work through, but I wanted to make sure we got to a few of those other things before we ran out of time. Uh, so Lynn says, if my Amazon Prime is not up for renewal until August, could I renew now at the 99 price and be good for a year from my time the current subscription expires? So 
Lynn, from everything that I've ever tried with Amazon, there is not a way to renew early. Um, what some people have tried is getting a gift, gift Amazon gift subscription um, and then trying to plug that into your account. So you could do that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure whether they will let that tack on to what you currently have or not. So you're going to want to read the fine print on that gift subscription. Uh, but if it will work and tack in, then that is the way to definitely save. Ours does not renew until December. And we were already discussing it, you know, at that $20 price increase. Do we want to pay for it? Uh, we stream enough off of Amazon that it's it, it really does make it about the same price as Netflix really, because Netflix is twelve ninety nine a month times 12, so it's a little bit more than $119, um, but you get the idea. It's just how much of their services are you using um, to really decide whether or not you want to handle that price increase. Um, for us, six months out, that's a hard one to renew early. It's definitely not going to let us, um, but you could definitely try the gift and see if that would work for you to read the fine print, um, but it is an option. Um, so Emily asks, I get this question a lot, Emily, you're not alone. If insert coupons and printable coupons are all manufacturer's coupons, will I be missing any deals if I choose to just print? Yes, you will. There are some coupons that are only in the inserts that are not put out as printables. Actually, the ones on the front of this one are good examples. There are no O-Cedar printable coupons. Not going to say that you, you, know, you always need a new broom because you probably don't. Uh, and they get that too. They know that not everyone's going to use that coupon. But um, there are some offers that are only in the inserts. That said, what I would recommend, Emily, is for the first few weeks, use the list on Southern Savers, pull the list, and just see how many times is it telling me to go and grab an insert that I don't have? How much would I have saved if I'd had them? And does that equal the price of the insert? So kind of keep track on that for just you know two or three weeks. And that's going to help you make a very educated decision as to whether or not these inserts are going to pay for themselves. Because, yeah, buying the paper does cost, and you need to be able to outweigh that with the savings that you're getting because of those inserts. For me, shopping drugstore deals alone, I usually end up wanting the inserts um, because we get the high-value L'Oreal coupons, the high-value Revlon coupons that are not available to print then I, I'm always glad that I got those inserts. Or maybe another option if you're on the fence, Emily, is that you always get the week that has the Procter & Gamble because those are also very rarely available as printables. Like this week, anyone in diaper mode, there was a $3 off Easy Ups coupon. That is not available to print. That is only available in that insert. So the weeks that we get those PNGs, maybe those are the weeks that you get the paper, but you don't get it every single week. That might be a solution too. Um, so, oh, <laughs> I love it, Bren. Um, Bren's eating her chili cow while we, while she watches. Um, that's awesome. So, uh, and the chili cow was a great deal. I'm sorry that it's already gone for some, but there have been a number of good Ibotta deals available and even more will come out tomorrow. So tomorrow's the first of the month, guys. We're going to see a lot of the mobile apps release new offers. Saving Star will, will release new offers. Coupons.com has about 40 to 50 that I know of that are coming out tomorrow. So that list will probably grow. There's always a lot that they spring on me that I didn't know about. Um, the first of the month is always a busy busy time. My, my alarm is set for 6 a.m. just so we can start making all the new lists. But uh, you don't need to do that. I'll just tell you what, what the new ones are. But um, look for new ones in your mobile apps too because it makes for a lot of fun deals. Um, let's see. Is there a limit on the number of coupons that you can use per store visit? Robbie Yes and no. So most stores will take however many you bring in as long as you have the right number of items. However, some stores do have a limit on the same coupon that you can use per visit. Um, so for example, Kroger will only take two like printed coupons, two identical printed coupons, not two total. Um, or Publix is only going to, it's going to limit you to eight of an item. And the limits can be vary by store. So some Publixes don't ever enforce the limits and some enforce the limits every single minute of every single day. Um, but you get the idea. So I need to kind of learn what that store's limit is and how they do it. Is it by item? Is it by coupon? But in general, there is no max. You can only use 40 and we're not going to let you come in and use any more after that. 
It's really on the like. They're worried about people making copies or people using them fraudulently. So that's where the limits start to come in if they feel like you're using too many of the same coupon. Uh, so hopefully that answers your question um, even more than you had really asked. Um, and in terms of the number of inserts, I see someone asking on that one. I would recommend at least, at least two, but two for a smaller family is really enough. So you want enough to be able to get six weeks of an item when it's on sale, but I also want um, enough to where if it's buy one, get one in CVS, I have to buy both of them. I have a coupon to use on each one of them. So that's why I would say two, because most items, when they're on sale, they're not going to be back on sale for almost six weeks you're probably getting at least two of that item when it's on sale as well. So two sets of inserts is going to help there. The bigger your family, the more inserts you may want, but I wouldn't go there right away. I would go with two and then I would, you know, up it if you feel like two is not enough. We're, you know, we're not getting the six weeks that we should be getting to manage what our family is eating, then let's go for more. So we have seven people in our house and we do four inserts. Uh, and that's plenty. I, I, we don't really run out of anything. I, I, sh I shared our pantry with you guys uh, probably almost two months ago now. So you kind of saw what a general stockpile looks like for us. Um, but we're good. And those four are perfect for us. Any more, it just takes more time and you've got to keep up with them and cut them. So I wouldn't go any further than that, really. Um, it just is a nice, happy one. Um, so Sasha says, how do you know what the limit is on Ibotta? I know they say you have a limit. Um, per receipt, but how many times can you submit additional receipts? So Sasha, each offer in Ibotta has a limit. Um, so to kind of show you where those are, um, if we pull up Ibotta um, and show you that one. So if I'm inside Ibotta and I pull up an app, um, or sorry, a coupon, it's loading. Um, Got to give it a second. So if I pull up this one, which happens to be BOGO at Publix right now as well, um, so we can all get um, some low-carb pizza that is buy one, get one, then I can see, um, this one is big, uh, you can see how it has down at the bottom under details, it says may be redeemed up to 10 times per receipt. That's a lot of pizza. Um, so this one's really high. I've never actually seen one that was 10 before. So this is a moment. Um, but normally it's going to be three. It's going to be four. Max that I've seen before this moment was five. Um, but you could go huge on real good low carb pizza. So it is buy one, get one with a $2 cash back. It is still not ch super cheap. I think it comes out to like $2.49 um, for the pizza in the end. It is in the Publix list. And this is BOGO through tomorrow night in most areas. So if you wanted to grab it, you could, but that's where you're going to see Sasha. And, and yes, I could still only do this in one receipt. Usually now it says per receipt. Typically what's going to happen is if you redeemed three, let's say it's going to go away today. You redeemed a receipt with three of them. It might come back tomorrow and let you do another receipt with more of them, not the same receipt, but a different receipt, but it's not going to come back until the next day. And that's going to throw a quirk in a lot of people's system because you went shopping today. I don't want it to come back tomorrow. I don't want to have to wait and do that again. So um, that is where I would kind of go ahead and just grab as many as you plan on getting today in the store to be able to use all of those. Um, and Janice asked, what are the best apps to use? So Janice, I can kind of show you my little coupon pocket. Um, but these are the main couponing apps that I would recommend. So check out 51, Southern Savers, uh, Saving Star. A plenty is not really needed anymore. We could kind of get rid of him. Um, goodbye. Uh, because plenty is uh, ending. So there we go. I'm a little bit of an app miser, though, um, and happy to always get rid of things. Fetch rewards. You enter your receipts and you earn points from entering your receipts. Ibotta and berry, berry cart if you do organic items. If you never buy organic items, um, then don't worry about berry cart. It's, you're not ever gonna use a coupon in that app if you, do not, if you do not purchase any organic items. But these are the key ones that I use. Meal Lime is a meal planning app um, and it's free. It does have up charges, but don't pay for the up charges. So just cause you saw it there, don't go out and pay for it. Uh, I don't pay for any up charges. It's just a way to get some ideas. So I leave it in there if I'm kind of bored and I want to skim around. Um, but it is not a couponing app. It's just kind of in my grocery savings market. So uh, then it's why it ends up in that little bucket. 
So hopefully that helps. Um, we've talked apps a lot as well. So um, you could always pop back onto um, a past video if you wanted uh, and look specifically at mobile apps. Um, so on page says, are there saving stars or checkout 50 ones that have higher than limit ones? So saving stars page, no. Saving stars are all a limit of one except for their one or many offers, which really you're buying a threshold. So it says, you know, buy $15 worth of Sargento and earn that $4 back. That is Saving Stars version of a multiple limit coupon. Um, Checkout 51 occasionally will have a coupon that is available more than one time, but we've seen less and less of those in the last few months. So m most of the Checkout 51 offers that we have now are all limit one. Where with Ibotta, we're seeing more and more in Ibotta. So, uh, you know, it, it's kind of one versus the other. Um, so Paige says, Fetch used to crash my phone. Have I ever had that happen? I haven't recently, Paige, and I've been using it on a, a pretty fair basis uh, at least once a week, and it's not. Um, but I don't leave it open. I only open it to, you know, redeem the receipts and then close it out when I'm done. But um, it hasn't caused me any issues for sure. And Jonathan is, Sasha, giving, you know, a, a good point to mention, too, on Ibotta is that as long as you purchased it within the last seven days, you're still good to submit that receipt. So, for example, if that real good pizza did, if I did redeem it tomorrow and then it came back the next day, as long as I have a different receipt that is within seven days of that coupon coming, I can still redeem it. It's just hard to remember for me that I still need to go back in and do it. I bought it yesterday. My brain's not thinking about redeeming apps on it tomorrow. Um, so it's almost like you have to set an alarm to remind yourself to go and see if that coupon came back up. And that gets annoying. Um, so that's why really, for me, I just tend to go ahead and redeem them or want to redeem them all at one time versus trying to do it across multiple trips. Um, let's see. Uh, are there any good diaper deals? Um, yes, there are. This is where, Barbara, I would point you to the item search. The best deals for sure. Um, Rade Aid has Pampers, super, super cheap, with a buy $40 and get $20 back in bonus cash. Publix has Huggies on sale, crazy cheap through tomorrow night for the small packs or starting on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on where you live, for the cases. You'll be able to get Huggies case diapers for $10.99 at Publix starting on Wednesday. So uh, you can get the small packs as cheap as a, as a buck forty-nine, or the cases for $10.99 starting Wednesday or Thursday. And that Publix list is already up. So if you're curious about the Publix ads that start in a couple days, I always get that list up on Monday afternoon. So you can go ahead and already see it uh, on the Publix page. But those are probably the best. There are two deals at CVS as well on Pampers and Huggies. Um, but the Rite Aid deal is actually a little cheaper than the CVS deal. Um, so, you know, just to kind of weigh them out. If, if you're already a CVS person, though, and you're already there, I would just go to CVS. I wouldn't worry about the Rite Aid deal. Um, but hopefully that helps across the, uh, across the board to give you an idea. Uh, Jonathan, uh, or sorry, John says, would Xbox subscriptions apply for the reported deal? section. Sure. If you think it's a deal that other people would be interested in, feel free to report away. Now, I, I do, you know, give you that, that little warning of a deal that other people would be interested in because for some reason, I, ha I have a number of people that are Amazon sellers in China that share deals with me uh, daily that they want me to share with people. And I don't really want to share uh, all these random things from China with you all day long. So I do ignore some that come in through there. Um, but I will try hard to not ignore yours, John. Um, no, really, as long as it's a deal that gets you excited, it's probably going to get someone else excited too. So I am glad for you to share it and glad to share it with others so that they can get it. That's the whole point is just so that we can have more things to share um, and help other people to find those deals. That's why it exists. So feel free to stick that in the, the deal, the share a deal section. I would love to have it. Um, <laughs> okay, so I think, oh, uh, Yinka says, do I only get inserts from the Sunday paper? Yes, Yinka, there are no other places to get inserts from other than what comes in the Sunday paper. You can order them online or you can get a subscription to your local paper. Um, I actually, I guess, kind of do both, but I don't pay for the one that comes in my driveway, so not really sure what happened there, um, but, uh, and I'm not sure when it's going to end either, but we usually just get them um, from online and they come in the mail on Mondays, so Go to the mailbox, grab them on Monday instead of finding them in the driveway on Sunday. And I'm happy with that. Um, definitely works for sure. 
Um, well, I'm glad, Kuban Polly, that even though you came on late, I'm still here. I'm still talking. Um, but no, we're almost done, so you'll have to go back and watch it. Um, it's sorry that you missed us. Um, but it is always fun to hang out with you guys. Uh, I hope that maybe we you learned something new, a new way to use the site. And odds are I'm going to get off and be like, ah, I completely forgot to share that with them. Uh, because there's really a lot there that we've built, and we're constantly adding new things to it. So um, hopefully this helped. If you're brand new, hopefully it helped you to kind of see how the site could be helping you. If you're trying to help folks use the site, one thing I do want to encourage y'all to do, and I was teaching a workshop this weekend, folks get so overwhelmed. So if you've got friends that you really want to teach them how to use the lists on Southern Savers, encourage them to look at the list for Publix or whatever store it is they're going to go to and to just pick 10 items. That's it. 10 items for the Publix list or the Kroger list. Don't get them to go really, really big on their first trip because they don't understand it. Couponers speak a foreign language. We don't feel like we do, but we do. There's a lot there that they don't get, like the SS and the RPs. So help them by doing that. So if you're sharing the site with somebody, you know, say, you know, don't go huge. Just pick 10 items. Find the coupons for those 10 items. That is going to be enough, I promise, where they're going to save a chunk. And they're like, oh, that was kind of fun. I saved a good 50% on those 10 items. And then hopefully they'll get their feet wet and they'll grab some more. But we don't really want to overwhelm them by like setting them down in front of a 100 plus item Publix list and telling them to go to town because they're going to be cutting coupons for three hours. They're brand new. Um, so, you know, start your friends easy. You may have it. You may have been doing it for a while, but they haven't. Uh, and the list does not need to take that long. It should be fun. It should be easy. For me, using the list on Southern Savers, I am usually start to finish out the door in 45 minutes. Um, but I've been doing this for a while. So keep that in mind if you're sharing with fun folks. We want to make this fun. We want to make it easy because we really want to make this a life change, not a crazy hobby. Crazy hobbies, you're going to quit in a couple months. But life change, you're going to be couponing. I mean, we're at year 12. That's hard to hard to admit. Um, but you want to be doing it long term because think about how much you're saving. Um, so hopefully you guys can can take that to heart and share and make this as easy with them at, as, as easy for them as it has been for you as you've been going along. So y'all have a great night. Thanks for joining me. Again, share it with friends and help them um, to get going on saving and, and grocery shopping the way they should be doing it. So I will talk to you guys later as we find more deals. And thanks again for joining me.